Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator. We are in Fuerta Ventura, and I'll tell you this. We are going to go paint the bus before we go into the other computer because uh, I found out how you do that. We have to go to uh, Rosario down the road. So let's hey, 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 hey. let's make sure that we're, we're good to go there. So uh, there's a little bit of surprise when we get there, but you probably already saw it in the thumbnail. And that is somebody made a tourism paint job for my bus. And that is absolutely amazing. So a big thanks to Noller. He's the one who made it. Uh, and we're going to go put it on our bus. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Oh, hello. Hello, FOV. All screwed up as usual. Got to love it. That's one thing I have not enjoyed in any kind of bus sim is the FOV you get in the bus. It's just a weird kind of like sit. I, I, I don't know. It's very strange. But I'm going to fire this thing up, and we're going to go head down the road and go to the paint shop. Oh, man, I just noticed we have uh, the view light on. So we're going to stop at a gas station and put some diesel in this thing because that's not good. All right, I think I'm going to go with the outer lane. Yep. And we're going straight so we don't have to indicate. I did look up online how to properly drive in roundabout, so I think I have it down for the most part now. And since we're just going straight here, I would Oh, no. Looks like I messed that one up. I should have been in the middle lane there to go straight. That's okay, though. Not the end of the world. Uh, we'll make a left up here. Looks like the gas station's right there. So I forgot. You do have to fuel up your buses in this game. Is that a... Uh, yes, it is. I saw those lines, and it's like, is that a speed bump? Yes. Yes, it was. And we're making a left here, so we put the left blinker on because we're going that way. And we go to the inside lane. Hey, for an American, I'm starting to learn the roundabout. It's it's taken a little bit of time for it to happen, but hey, at least I'm trying, right? It's a little bit. All right, there's the gas station there, so. The petrol station. Don't go in on that side. We'll go from the other side. And where the blue lines are, it looks like that's where we fuel up. I'm not sure how much money we have because we have to buy we have to buy the paint scheme. Oh, man, this is going to be tough to pull into. Wow. They didn't make that easy for us, did they? No, nope, not at all. Not at all. All right. That's okay. We're good there. Yeah, we'll go to the other computer in a minute, game. Just give us a second here. I just noticed that fuel light on when I was on the motorway, and I was like, uh-oh. There we go. So let's go ahead and pull that on. We'll stop the engine. I'll put this in neutral first. There we go. Refueling. Current price zero. What? Okay. Oh, you got to tell. Yeah, refuel. There it goes. I was like, what's going on here? There's our budget. We've got enough. Hopefully. But check it out. Neat mechanic in this game is you have to keep after the refueling of your buses. And it is done. I like this little uh, refueling animation. This is pretty cool. Not too bad at all. We hit uh, cancel here. And we should be good now. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see if that is the case. There goes a little guy down there. You see that right here? And it's full. Sweet. Fire it up. I can break off. Back to this. Uh, I didn't have my running lights on, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, we will go to the paint shop, which is nearby here, actually. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, an Austin Powers turnaround in this one, so... We're in Puerto del Rosario, and the actual um, the actual paint shop is on the far end of the place. I cannot see very well that way, but I haven't seen any cars coming that way for a while, so I'm going to assume that that is the case. All right. So roundabout, and we're going to go around the backside of uh, this area, and we should be okay. So here, approaching this, I'll go left indicator on. Watch this guy here. He's turning that way. I now know, I now understand it. And then we go into the middle lane. We take the middle lane around and we will exit into the outer lane in a few moments here because we want to go this way. So that indicator comes on. We check our mirrors. It's good to go. And we pop on out of the roundabout. I think that's how it works. I did look it up. Oh, we have more uh, speed bumps. This is a neat, neat area. We have not gotten to see any of this yet. And that's cool. We'll get to, uh, oh, that's definitely a 2D image back there behind the windows. <laughs> definitely. Oh, a bus lane. Very nice. Uh, we've got a mechanic shop there. We've got a hotel. We can unlock some of this stuff, which is really cool. 
instead of uh, jumping right back into the mundane stuff, which we already know what, uh, what's going to take place with that. But as we're driving here to the paint shop, I do want to say something that I'm very impressed with the presence of TML Studios on the Steam um, discussions pages. And, uh, you know, people have been giving them a lot of grief for this game and, and a lot of different things that they want and whatnot. Hello. Good thing we didn't kill ourselves there. Um, different things like that. You know what? I think we might have just missed it all completely here, but we're going to find out here in a second because I have no idea where the hell I am. Uh, but what I was going to say is they've been doing a really great job of, uh, of dealing with that, in my opinion. So big hats off to them. They want to make improvements to the game. Yeah, we definitely got on the wrong road. And we are here at the spray place. Let's pull in. No harm, no foul. Managed to make our way here and figure it out. That wasn't too bad. Wait for that guy to go all the way in. And we just pull straight in here. Man, this isn't very... Cro it's crooked. It's not even straight. Okay, you just drive into it. So that works for me. Um, but here's uh, all the ones that comes with the game. You got Echo Routes. You got uh, Aries. You got... Barrikito bus, Grupo, which is not finished, it looks like. Okay, that's definitely not good. Uh, local, you got uh, Nashermen, you got RLB, uh, Tirade, and here is the one that they made for me, the Faviana Tourism bus, which is not loading. There it goes. It just loaded in. Faviana Tourism. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. It's got the JF on it. It's got the, the space on it. Pretty darn neat. I, I've got to say a big thanks to him for that. But it's 2000 We're going to buy it. Because why not? And check this thing out. Yes. Fabiano Tourism. That is so cool. A big thanks, man. I really do, really do like this, uh, this paint. All right. Let's head back to the shop and uh, we'll get uh, underway for the day. All right, we got back here to the office and we have to do what's called the management. So let's see what this all entails today. We have this computer, which is our inventory. Click on this button to see your stock of snacks and drinks for the sightseeing tours. By clicking on this button, you can see your current stock of spare parts for the vehicle repair. Okay, so foods and spare parts. Water, lemonade, cola, beer, candy bar, nuts, salami, and chips. Well, that's uh, very specific. Uh, then lights, indicators, engines, wipers, routers, air conditioners, tire sets, B belts, oil canisters, and brake linings. Those are the two options you have there. Pretty neat. Okay. Go to the filing cabinet. You got it right here. I see it. Yes. Contracts. Click on these buttons to see the different kinds of contracts. You have the choice between vehicle insurance, loss insurance for failed orders due to sick staff, contracts for Wi Fi on board your vehicles. Contracts for spare part uh, deliveries. And then we have, by clicking on this button, you will switch to the column for the concluded contracts. Click on this button to go to the section for contract offers. We want to go to that one. Okay. A little three-dotter. Yeah, this one. Click on an offer contract to conclude it. So, these are the options we have. Uh, this is for our insurance, it looks like. For 30%, 20 or 10 and you got to pay it out. So let's uh, let's go with in the middle of the road here in the beginning. We'll change that later down the road if we have to, but that will work right there. Uh, I believe that's what we have to do. Nope, that canceled it. So nope. Why, why, why did that happen? And now it's grayed out. So we kind of screwed ourselves on that. Okay, well, good to know. I guess we're going to be going 30% now. <laughs> <laughs> Did not mean to cancel it. I thought we had to click again to uh, to finish it, but that's all right. Uh, loss insurances, Wi-Fi services, spare parts. No contracts available. That's all they wanted there. But we basically got screwed out of money on that one. Go to the calculator in the next room. Okay, that is over in here. Go to the calculator now. What do we got here? Finances. By clicking on this button, you will receive an overview of your current income and expenses. If you want to see more details about your earnings or expenses, click on the corresponding button. These buttons allow you to receive new loans or take a look at your current loans. Okay, so kind of like ATS in that way. Overview, overall expenses, 153000 Res, uh, Residual debt, 203 Yeah, we just screwed ourselves. Uh, revenues for the last seven days, 1500 Not very much. Weekly expenses, 2852 So we're in the red all the way across the board on that. 
Expenses, insurances, yeah, 300. Terrible. Uh, fleet credits and employees. There's credits there. And then this is where you can get a new credit. So if we wanted a loan, we could deal with that. But right now, we're just going to try to skate by with what we have. Go to the pin board in this room. You got it right here. Uh, this button will give you an overview of your personal performance in your business. Click on this button to see reports of your recent jobs. Okay. Uh, so there's the overview there. And then reports are here. All stops approached. No passengers left at bus stop. Yep. I remember that. And fantastic. Zero accidents on both of those runs we did. Oh, not too bad at all. Go outside and over the yard and enter the workshop. Oh, get to go to the workshop finally, folks. That's what I'm talking about. Way back here. Oh, I gotta go inside. Come on now. I thought there was a door or something, but nope. Clearly no door in this game for us. Uh, we can go in the side door, though. I don't have to go in the... Nope. Can't even do that. You have to go this way? Really? Can we go in this one? Nope. Have to go in this way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm going in the wrong door the whole time. Like a dummy. Alright. Okay, let's go upstairs to this. And here it is right here. Got the bus repair. Uh, a list of vehicles in need of repair will be displayed here. Click on a vehicle to see more options. The left-hand button displays the general condition of the vehicle. Click on the middle button to see the condition of individual parts of the vehicle. Click on the right button to open the repair menu. Okay. To make a repair, you need, a mechan you need mechanics for your workshop. Additionally, you, can, uh, you may require spare parts, which you can get via delivery contracts, such as a contract can be found. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Okay, so there's that. It's in good condition. Not bad. Get in your car. The expansion. Uh, of course. And I blocked myself in with the bus. And yes. Oh, I can make that. I can make that. No problem. All right. Let's uh, let's get in the get, get in the car. Open an, open the map. Okay. Not sure how you do it. Is it M? M looks like the map. Uh, okay. Got it. We open the map. Here's the legend. Wow. Look at Fuerta Ventura. Alice Canaries. Um, pretty massive, actually, when you really look at it. We've only been to Antigua uh, in here. We have not. We started to go down this road. I had to turn around uh, to go up that way. This is a big map. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, cool. Uh, hit escape. We open the map. But uh, I guess they want us to go to search the symbol of the garage hells. Click on it. Oh, okay. I got you. I was not paying attention to that. I was just so enamored by the map. I'm like, this is really, really cool. So we are going down here. Click on that. Sweet. And let's go. Drive to the garage, the garage halls. All right. Park and break off. Put this thing into drive. I'm just going to go around this. Don't mind me. Around the bus we go. Goodbye, Faviano Tourism. Could have been a lot easier. I'm sure. I'm certain of it. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I thought we were going to be driving today, but we're, we're driving this instead. So we're expanding our company by going to a different place. All right. Getting used to the, uh, the gas in this thing. It's very, very, very touchy. I remember this now. A uh, pretty fast vehicle, though. Not bad at all. Oh, I remember these are backwards. I'll have to uh, have to go in and change that. But I'm not going to do it right now. Um, one thing that I was uh, going to say is that you get to um, do sightseeing tours and stuff later down the road. And you can actually uh, start doing shuttle bus stuff, which is really neat that you can do that. Um, but I would, I agree with what some people have said in the discussions. Some people have displayed their, uh, their concerns about the size of the bus and they want smaller buses for, you know, doing shuttles, which would be really cool. That'd be something that would be really neat to have in the game. And I'm sure that, uh, TML is looking into that. Uh, another thing is that they, uh, oh, we're going around this way. Yes. Uh, another thing is that uh, TML has uh, gotten the whole uh, AI kind of situation taken care of. Now, they said that 
they got to the bottom of what they needed to as far as trying to figure out how to get, you know, bus traffic in and, and other traffic, various traffic. But the problem was like, you know, the AI's behavior in these narrow little small streets, but they said they figured it out. So that's kind of cool. Something to look forward to. It should be a nice little drive. We have uh, done this run before, but we haven't gone straight. Well, we have gone straight, but we haven't gone where we're going today. That's what I mean to say. So yeah, in this roundabout, I'm going straight, so I don't have to do much. I don't even have to indicate. Um, I should have been in the middle lane there. Oops. And then I've seen some people that don't indicate leaving when they go straight, and some people do, but that's all right. It seems to be hit and miss how certain people approach it without actually going through a uh, driver's course in Europe. I couldn't tell you. And 90 kilometers an hour seems so fast in this thing. That's because it is. It is fast. And we're going to go straight here. And this time I'm going to use the, the middle. If it's a two. Yep, it's a two lane. So I'm going to go in the middle here. And this is so we don't hit somebody that's uh, merging into the roundabout there. And we're good there. And we get over. And we're golden. There's a nice casino there. The Casino Octario. Yeah, we have not been here. We turned back there last time. The beach has been explored. Okay. Not much of a beach around here, but... Hey. It's technically a beach. So that's fine. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Ever so slightly getting closer to Christmas. Probably doing some last minute Christmas shopping. I know the uh, traffic here in Florida has been absolutely nuts and I've just been, just been avoiding it at all costs for the most part. Okay. We gotta be getting close, I would imagine, but like I said, this place just looks like a big giant ashtray. It's insane. Somebody would want to go vacation here. I've said it in the last video, at least. I'm starting to get uh, the hang of this uh, accelerate a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Let me slow down right here. Man, this thing slows down in a hurry, I'll tell you that. It does, it does. And then we get into a 60 zone here. Is that a big, huge uh, radio communications tower out there? Or a uh, cell phone tower or something? That's kind of cool. It goes from 40 to 60. I think it's just to help people slow down for that. All right, FV2 on the Morrow Jabley up. We're not going to Antigua, we're going straight. See if this guy's going to uh, give way to me. Looks like he did. That was impressive. Very nicely done, sir. Very happy with that. We got a little bit more uh, traffic on the roads now. That's something that they're uh, they're working on. Bringing is more traffic. And that will be nice. I do want to say a big thank you to those of you that have been supporting this series and you guys have really been enjoying this and I have too. It's a it's a fantastic game. It kind of reminds me of like uh, like in a, when I do an American Truck Sim video, I can just kind of talk and hang out and play the game without having to like uh, RP much or do anything too game oriented. It's, it's pretty chill. It's pretty laid back. Now, unfortunately, we can't play the, the radio station in this, and I said this in the first uh, video. The uh, radio stations are fantastic in this game. They play real music from, like, a real uh, real radio station. So, definitely something uh, to take advantage of whenever you are playing it on your own. Let me slow down over this hill. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going left up here. 
We are literally in the middle of nowhere. It feels like, at least. Oh, check out these lights. Alright, how do we do this? Oh, I just make it left like a normal. Okay. I thought there was something. Oh, man, look how destroyed this is right here. Oh, I have the wrong blinker on the whole time. I figured that was going to happen. Drive to the garage. We're doing that. We're almost there. It's at the end of this road. Boy, that's all destroyed. And here we are. We got a huge garage up here. We're expanding the business, even though we went into the red really, really quickly. Garage wars. Open every day, 24 hours. Um, I think this is just expand expanding our... Uh, our garage because obviously we can only hold one bus where we are currently located and this looks like we can house multiple buses park in the yard and exit the vehicle all right we'll park over here not a problem at all oh man this thing is just so weird the uh the accelerator it's got maybe it's the dead zone maybe i gotta turn the dead zone off man hello put it in reverse a little bit Get off the uh, little thing. There we go. All right. Parking brake. Kill that. We made it. Go to the garage. Hall's office. You got it. Basically, let's go into more debt. I think that's what they're saying here. Go into more debt, please. Um, Industrial estate. Oh, just click. Okay, gotcha. To expand your fleet, you have to buy garage halls. If you have made enough money, you can buy and expand these garage halls here. Okay. Additional parking lots. You do not have enough money to buy this estate for additional parking lots. The price is 250000 Wow. Open the map again. You got it. Click on the fast travel button in the upper right corner of the map. Click on the icon of your office to start the fast journey. During the game, you'll receive skill points by level ups, and they can be found in hidden stashes. Sweet! There is fast travel options. That is cool. Click on that, and we hit fast travel. And that is the location right there. Yep. You want to initiate fast travel to this location? Yes. That is cool. I do like how we have that option. That'll make things flow much better, especially if you're trying to move buses to garages, because I know that when you buy different garages, they don't always show up at the port in Rosario. They could be at any of the ports on the map. Get in your car. They moved my bus while I was gone. How nice of them. All right. Get into my car. Start the motor. You know what I'm going to do real fast? I'm going to swap out those, uh, those blinkers because they're going to drive me nuts. All right. I got that squared away. I also uh, went ahead and kind of adjusted the curve on the accelerator axis. So we'll see if that uh, helped things out. But we have the indicators working. To get it to work, what I had to do was um, I had to uh, go in and delete the old key. You couldn't just edit and change it out. It wouldn't take it for some reason. Man. Okay, gonna have to get used to this new curve that we created. Uh, we're driving to Antigua, so a little bit of a drive there. Uh, we've already been there before, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive there. I'm not gonna make you sit through that. Now, I've been behind this car for a little while, and I've got to say he's been uh, doing pretty good as far as speed goes for the AI. They don't, uh, they don't go extremely slow or anything, so that's a really nice thing. I haven't really driven too far of a distance besides, you know, to that little uh, garage spot with this uh, car. But falling behind AI, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. And we are here in Antigua. Hello. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Really? That's right. Are we going right there? But they're not really, they're having us go around a weird way. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm assuming that that's what it is. We had to go to that little couch. Nah, that's all right. Yeah, I do not like the acceleration uh, in the car. The car doesn't drive very well. I mean, we all know that, but it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty bad because it just constantly wants to like slow way down, like it's got a retarder on it or something. 
That's what it feels like to me. A little shop right there. Apartment Antigua. Park in the yard next to the vehicle. Oh. What? Here? Are they talking about us? Now? What? I am very confused. Boy, they don't really tell you too much. Park in the yard and exit the vehicle. Uh, we're going to have to go around and, uh, and get out and go up to that apartment. We're getting an apartment. That's what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to go around the block again and then we'll, uh, we'll park. This makes more sense now. Okay, this is where we're supposed to be. Right here. Park in the yard and then go up into that little spot there, it looks like. I'm just going to park right here on the sidewalk like a lot of cars do here. Pull that. Put in uh, neutral turned off and we'll get out that's what we're gonna do the accommodation go to the house yeah so one thing i would like to see is uh if we're headed to somewhere like this you know it'd be cool if we had a little uh little blue icon or something like that to notify us can we go up this no okay let's uh, see what this is about apartment antigua if you see the symbol on the map you've discovered an apartment or house that you can buy for yourself after the purchase you will see this icon on the map and you have activated a new fast travel point. Now click on buy. Uh, 24,000. Yes. We'll take it. The accommodation. Enter the apartment. Ooh. Oh, look at this. We have an apartment. After you've acquired your first property, you can arrange it. Click on the displayed interaction fields to buy different items of furniture and miscellaneous. On the island, you can find more real estate for sale. Make enough money to be able to buy larger and more luxurious properties. If you want the interaction fields to be visible only at a close proximity, look for the fuse box to switch between the modes. Okay, very confusing sounding there at the end, but change lamp, change wallpaper. Look at this. You can make your own little place. That is really, really cool. Change the ceiling lamp. Yeah, because that's an ugly one. You need to locate a hardware store. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All sorts of stuff we can do. We have received a new skill point. Open the skill point menu via your smartphone to distribute the point. Oh, we can do this. Click on this button to help bring up the skill point menu. Wow, a lot of neat stuff in this. On top, on the top, you can see your current level experience and available skill points. They didn't put the N on can. Here you can exchange skill points for fast travel locations. You receive skill points by leveling up and you... I uh, can also find them in sealed containers. You may also need them for certain other occasions, so save a few for later. Okay. Accept selection. Select the fast travel points you want to unlock on the map and then confirm your selection. Available fast travel locations are unlocked by discovering or interacting with certain locations like hotels or restaurants. You also have the option to buy back all skill points by clicking on this button. Oh, that's cool. I like that option. That's nice. All right. So, um... Available skill points can be redeemed for fast travel points. We know that. We have two, it looks like. And uh, we can pretty much build our own fast travel south. That is pretty darn cool. I do like that. Let's see. Desired spot to distribute a skill point, then confirm your choice. Okay, kind of confusing. They're not really telling us a lot of what they want us to do here. I think you can just accept the selection there and see what that does. Now you have completed all the basics to earn enough money to purchase an extra bus to support your staff. Later, you can expand your fleet, hire additional drivers, mechanics, and even tour guides. While you gather more experience and explore the island, you will gain access to new types of orders such as shuttles and sightseeing tours, as we were talking about earlier. From now on, you will have full access to the island to freely expand your company as you see fit. Well, that is pretty darn cool. We've learned a lot. There's a lot of depth in this game. Um, it seems a little overwhelming at first, honestly. Change floor. You need to, yep, hardware store. Always with a hardware store. Uh, we've uh, we've learned quite a bit. And we even have a bathroom we can change out. That is pretty darn cool. I like the fact that we feel like, uh, you know, we're kind of living in this little world here that they've created. I do like that a lot. Not too shabby at all. Well, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. It was a lot of fun. We're exploring Puerta uh, Ventura. Uh, and uh, I'm enjoying it like the the island itself isn't very impressive as far as the look of it uh, It looks like a giant sand trap, but other than that It's a it's it's a pretty fun game. I'm enjoying this a lot If you have any uh, suggestions or tips or anything like that, 
uh, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I will see you all next time. Take care.